Armenia has suggested the creation of a corridor linking the Persian Gulf and the Black Sea, with the aim of facilitating trade between Indian traders and Russia Europe. Last week, a delegation of high-ranking officials and experts from Armenia proposed the idea of creating a corridor linking the Persian Gulf and the Black Sea while visiting India. This suggestion coincided with the visit of Armenia's foreign minister Ararat Mirzoyan to India on 3rd March. Armenia has suggested the creation of a trade corridor that will operate alongside the International North-South Transport Corridor in order to establish a trade link between Mumbai and Bandar Abbas seaport in Iran and then proceed to Armenia and further on to Europe or Russia. In case you want to understand everything about the International North-South Transport Corridor, I have a video on it. I'll put the link to that video in the top right corner. Anyhow, this alternative route is supposed to bypass Azerbaijan because Azerbaijan has closer ties with Turkey and Pakistan and that is the reason Armenia is asking for India's support. By the way, if you want to know about the Armenia-Azerbaijan conflict, I have a video on that as well. I'll put the link of that video in the top right corner. If you look at Armenia, their relationship with India has been growing steadily due to defense exports. India is supplying missiles, rockets and ammunition to Armenia. And historically, Armenia shares strong political and business ties with Iran. Both the countries share a 35 km long border that runs along the northern edge of Iran. And now Armenia is seeking Indian investments for the corridor within Armenian territory. In light of the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict, India's trade with Russia has substantially increased through the INSTC, which provides a trade link between Mumbai and Russia via Iran and the Caspian Sea. However, Azerbaijan, which plays a vital role in the INSTC, has been slow in developing infrastructure link under INSTC despite its importance. Now, because of this new cold war between Russia and the West, any large-scale transit of cargo passing through the Russia-Europe border looks too risky for international logistics and insurance companies. Armenia intends to initiate discussion with India to explore the possibility of Indian companies' involvement and funding of the Persian Gulf Black Sea Corridor project. But then you will realize that Armenia doesn't have direct access to Black Sea. That means goods have to be further transported to Georgia. Only then you can reach Europe as well as Russia. Armenia recognizes the need for Indian traders to do business with Europe. That is why they have proposed this idea to the Indian government. The proposed Persian Gulf Black Sea Corridor aligns with India's objective of seeking new trade routes to Europe that avoids the Suez Canal and the risk of Russia-West conflict. Because the fact of the matter is, United States is silently looking for opportunities to sanction India. Now this route will link Iran and Georgia. Iran now has two options, that is to pass through Armenia or Azerbaijan. Because Georgia has existing railway and highway connections with both Armenia and Azerbaijan. And Azerbaijan has a railroad reaching the Iran-Azerbaijan border. But then there is no direct railway connection from Armenia to Iran border. Then approximately 165 km railway section, the Rashtra Astra line, is missing in Iran to connect the Azerbaijani and Iranian railways. The railway line will connect the city of Rasht, the capital of Gilan province, with the city of Astara, located on the border with Azerbaijan. This railway link is part of the International North-South Transport Corridor, which aims to provide a more efficient trade route between India, Iran, the Caucasus and Russia. Recently, in January 2023, Russia and Iran agreed to fund the construction of this missing link. Now for India, if they want to trade only with Russia, Iran and the Caucasus region, then INSTC is more than enough. But India also wants to trade with Europe, that to through an alternative route and not via the Suez Canal. This is what Armenian government is proposing to Indian government. On one hand, the United States is silently looking for opportunities to sanction India. If India uses the Suez Canal route, then it has more chances of getting sanctioned. But this alternative trade route involves two countries, Armenia and Georgia, which is calling for heavy infrastructure investments. And as you may know, there can be several potential negative sides to investing in infrastructure projects in other countries such as political and economic risks, cultural and social challenges, legal and regulatory issues, financial risks and geopolitical risks. So it is going to be a tough call for India. Nevertheless, opportunities are there, but nothing is risk-free. I will update you if there is any further progress. As of now, it is a proposal by the Armenian government. So let's see how the Indian government will respond. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.